Um, but yeah, it was really interesting to see that I'd underestimated that that situation and realised that there's a lot more space to be creative and be who I am. I still worked within their yeah. boundaries. And that's where taste comes in. You have to understand when and what's going to work. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, that, that kind of sums up why people call people back as well, or yeah. why the reputation becomes what it is. Because obviously, as we said, I mean, there's loads of people can play. Mm. But a lot of people who can play really well don't listen. And it's the people who listen and want to put themselves into it, but within the right capacity to make the person who's paying for it yeah. really happy. Yeah, it's their baby. And now, yeah. actually, because I've had my own music, um, I really respect it because I really feel it as a painful thing when I feel somebody's nonchalance or mm. regard or, or just treating my job working for me as, as something that's not important to them. Mm -hmm. They haven't paid attention to detail. They didn't learn the stuff. They've changed the chord voicings to the point where it doesn't sound with the same feeling that, mm -hmm. that it had on the record and that stuff. I notice stuff like that. And I notice musicians who put attention into it because that's what I do. Yeah. And I do it on every level. I don't do it just when I'm working for big artists. I do it when I'm playing in clubs to 40 people. Yeah. I'm, I want the feeling to be there. And to get that feeling, you've got to listen and pay attention to detail. So, you know, I do the same for artists artists um, at every point in, in my engagements and I feel that they understand that I'm really caring about what yeah. I do for them you know 